it's very, very unusual to find large expanses of forest, at least in, in, in Southern Africa, that haven't been recorded before. They, there aren't some records or there isn't some sort of documentation on. This is really quite, quite exceptional. And, and we still don't know quite why it, nobody had really ever looked at it before. Mount Marbu is uh, a, one of a series of isolated uh, peaks running through this part of, of Mozambique here. We got the Indian Ocean uh, coast, We've got Malawi here with the very famous Mount Malangi there. So there's these series of granite peaks sticking out here and Marbu, which is there, is one of them. We picked it up on satellite imagery as a very large area of, of what we thought might have been forest, but we weren't quite sure if this was forest or woodland and we needed to, to check that out. And it was a, such a large area that we hadn't seen or we hadn't didn't know, have any records of anything else that was of a similar size anywhere else in southern Africa. So it was a very, very large extent and it looked pretty much untouched. But this, of course, we had to check on the ground. It's quite an exciting to, to go into a new area, to, to, to be in an area where very few outsiders have been in before, where there are no records, where whatever you see and record uh, might be new to science or at least new to recorded science. So that's a very exciting feeling. And then to break your way through the forest and then come out onto the peak, uh, basically just hacking your way through because there are no paths. Uh, that was really very, very exciting. And, and, and to see the, when you get to the top, to look out over the whole expanse of forest and to realize how, how large and extensive this is. When you see it in reality, it's so much more, uh, so much more impact, so much more obvious than, than when you see it on, the, on, a, on a satellite image or something like that. We probably only really got to walk through less than a quarter of the total extent, extent of forest as, as we, we think there is. But the, the distances are not that great in terms of kilometres, but in terms of fighting your way through, you know, what quite, quite close forest is, and of course making sure you know where you are. As we were going through the forest, we were just picking up specimens of, of, of plants, reptiles, butterflies, really uh, rather opportunistically. Um, and from that, we were picking up some things that turned out to be new to science, some uh, snakes and butterflies that turned out to be new to science, and quite a lot of new plant records as well. There are only one new species uh, to science of, of plant. So there's really quite a range of things that we were finding, uh, just doing lots of collecting and uh, a lot of it would be analysed when we got back uh, to Kew or wherever. I think the reason that the Marbu story got, got so much coverage was that it was a very, very positive story. There was, there was a lot of wonder about it. And I think also the Google angle probably helped the fact that we first identified it from Google Earth imagery. The story went virtually global within, within a few days and there was masses of interest from, from media all over. Um, and we used this uh, as much as we could to help conservation in Mozambique, to put Mozambique on the conservation map. And there is a recognition that this is an important area which should be conserved. And there are initiatives now, um, both internationally and, and nationally, to have conservation projects associated with Mount Marbu that will help conserve it uh, into the future. There's obviously more scientific exploration to, to be done. There's, I'm sure there's new uh, things to be, to be found there still. The Mozambican government have, have accepted that it's, a, it's an important area for conservation. And the importance of herbaria and, and natural history museums has been really brought out and brought home. And also at the international level, uh, Fauna and Flora International, which is, is an international NGO based in the UK, are in the process of developing a conservation project for Mount Marbu. Even though the threats at the moment are, are rather minimal, they're, they're not major threats, but one, we mustn't be complacent. And uh, if we can get the local population to, to recognise the importance of the place and to get some benefit from it, then hopefully it will be conserved into the future.